The first week of the guest season is in full swing here at the Chateau and I've just come down to the kitchen to find Natty busily preparing breakfast for all of our guests. I think it's, it feels hard. I love this, your morning egg test. Because <laughs> you make the hard boiled egg for everyone. And yes, yes, and I want to be sure that they're hard boiled. You never know with the water, so just in case. You're going to be very have healthy. Have time, but okay now. But... You need a bit of salt mm, with that. No problem. Excellent. Excellent. And that's the presentation for the eggs. Perfect. <laughs> This is when the difficulties start for me. Mm -hmm. When the guest season starts and every single day there is pain au chocolat and croissant in the chateau and I really shouldn't be eating it in the morning every day. I think I'll allow myself Sundays, just Sundays, and today is not a Sunday. Good morning, everybody. Did you sleep well? Yes. yes. Delicious. It's very hard for me not to grab these. You've no idea how hard <laughs> Philip has fallen at the first hurdle. <laughs> From here, from no, the kitchen, I know, the <laughs> so you're going off to Imaus with everyone. Mm -hmm. All right. I look forward to seeing if any of you find any treasures on your way back. The armoire and there was a dresser. Oh, it's on the plane. Yeah. Sorry. You've got a big car, so <laughs> you can fit anything in. You can take the armoire and the dresser. <laughs> you have a tartan walking stick. Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, Scott Matt's going to be very, very jealous. That's uh, yeah, so good. Pulls up like this, and then and it's, uh, yeah. It looks like a joke one. You know, one of those joke spindly things that suddenly goes straight. You're ready for everything. You've got a tartan walking stick. <laughs> There's nothing to stop you in La Chatre. It's good. Bye all. Yeah. Hope you don't get too cold. My goodness, it's blustery. You're going to need that umbrella. <laughs> Bye. Whilst everyone's out hunting for treasures, Let's go and see how Amory's getting on in the tack room because we had no guests in here last week, luckily, but they will be arriving this weekend. Hello, Kaz. Oh, I see you're filling in the hole with leaving little gaps all of the pipework. Yeah. There we go. Fantastic. Well, it's just, unfortunately, it's all, um, it's all a bit temporary. Yeah, because, because there's uh, still work to do on the boiler and the flue. Really frustrating just as you're about to rebuild the kitchen. So you're putting the kitchen back temporarily so that it's totally dismantleable. I don't know if that's a word. I haven't had a chance yet to, have a, to see how yeah. it's going to work out. Yeah. But in priority is just get the kitchen done so that the guys can come in, clean it so it's ready for the guests. Yeah. And then uh, that's the priority. Then we have then, to get behind it again in between guests. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Amory has not stopped because aside from working like crazy in the tack room to get that ready, he's also been clearing the stables into the skip so the skip's finally managed to go ready for the weekend. like crazy last week getting everything ready for the guests it doesn't stop once they've arrived and whilst the guests are out i put myself forward for the very arduous task of cleaning all of the floors from this room all the way through to the kitchen okay i've got all the equipment i need i think i'm ready to start <laughs> oh is this not what you thought my vacuuming would look like because actually this is exactly what my vacuuming has looked like for the last two weeks because I'm about to tell you about one of the sponsorships that I'm most excited about ever which has completely transformed the life of everyone in this chateau and it is for Roborock who two weeks ago sent me their latest robot vacuum cleaner mopping machine called the S8 Pro Ultra and they've kindly offered to sponsor this video with this ad. Aside from the gleamingly clean floors the most satisfying thing about this for me is that when I told all 
all of the other Lalandas about this sponsorship, they sat me down and said, Stephanie, this is madness. You have antique floors everywhere. They're hundreds of years old. They're uneven. No robot vacuum cleaner is going to cope with it. But I thought we can give it a try. And then if I like it, I'll do the sponsorship. And oh my goodness, we more than like it. In fact, people have been coming, running up to me and saying, I need René because yes, we have named the robot. He is called René and he just wanders around actually in the middle of the night because you can schedule him to start at any time. So he starts at midnight and he not only vacuums, but he also mops. And as if that wasn't enough, he takes himself back to his little dock and he uploads all of the dirty water and then refills with clean water and uploads all of the dust that he's collected into the bin bag. I cannot rave about this enough. The first moment that he sprang into life, he did a great job of the kitchen, but as he moved towards the petit salon and the music salon, we thought, aha, he's gonna get tripped up now because there's big carpets in those rooms. But as he arrived at them, he just lifted his little mop up and carried on and just vacuumed on the carpets, just automatically. And after the first clean, I couldn't believe the difference in the dining room. Renee's done his first mop of all of these floors and they're actually looking quite shiny, which for antique tiles is not that common. Those of you who've seen last week's video will know that we were running around like headless chickens getting the chateau ready for the first guests of the year. And what I didn't show you was the unsung hero of all of that. And that was René. Hoover mop, Hoover mop, Hoover mop. We should, put, Wax. we should put René in here. We could. There's absolutely no reason why René can't be working on this for now. Let's move René! But the most shocking moment for me was when we emptied the dirty water tank for the first time and realised what was coming off our floors. Oh. That's disgusting. After he's mopped, he goes back to his dock, automatically washes his mopping cloth and then dries it. This is the most elegant solution to a problem that's been plaguing us for more than a decade. How to clean all of the floors of the chateau every night. There's no way we could have done that before. And let's face it, in a pretty effortless way. Actually, I think he's finished in the dining room and the kitchen could use a little bit of a mop. So I'll call him in here with my app. René? Going to oh, hi René. To have the same effortless cleaning solution in your own home and go to the link in the description box below to try Roborox SH Pro Ultra. Okay. Maria, are excited? Well, I've, I see some practical items. Oh, good. Oh, that's the same as our ones yeah. in the kitchen. It's slightly bigger than the other ones. Are you sure? And how did you know that when you didn't have ours with you? Because I know the size of things. How do you do that when you're not... I don't understand how that's put, and you still bought it even though it was the wrong size. Well, I figured yeah. that. Yeah, they're not going to match the other one. Well, look, I, I found sixteen of those, and I found another ten of those, and I feel like these are going to come up again. And if I then find like three, or I found seven, I should have been stupid to not get this for fifty mm. cents. Nah, he's thinking ahead. Fifty cents. Come on. And then also, uh, lots of our champagne foods broke, and these match the wine glass that we have. Yeah, okay. Well, that's that's always are they, useful. Are they the same as the... Yeah, look at the same as these. There we go. Thanks, sir. See? Same set. Unbelievable. So, uh, I got four of those, because that's all they had. They're 50 cent each, each as okay. well, so... And then I bought your mother a present. Mm -hmm. If she likes it. Because so you're preparing for Mummy's arrival. Yeah. Very well, wise. This might be useful uh, for her apartment. <laughs> your face is such a picture. It's a fruit ball. Oh, that's actually quite cool. Oh! I don't know she loves those, so that's why I thought oh, we should like to have that. I think that's really pretty. How much was it? Three euros. So, sorry, Mummy, he said 30. I don't know if you heard three, three but he said 30. Uh, 300, right? 300 sure, euros. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a big out there. You splashed out for Mummy there. So, there you go, that's for you. Thank you, what is it? It's a uh, little <gasps> You're such an angel. <laughs> Thank you. So, you didn't buy anything else in the movies? No. What was your total spend? Three euros and two fifty, so five fifty. Hmm? Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Again, mummy, he Very said uh, three hundred. <laughs> three thousand. Three thousand and fifty. Yeah, that's what took him so long. Yes. <laughs> Philip and I have come down to the Jardin Langlais where we'd sit in the sunshine, look at all of the plants. They've done such a cracking job of the weeding. The azaleas are coming out. And it was Philip who pointed out first for me, it was so natural. Philip said, the frogs, that's it. The sunshine is really coming. The frogs are out. Mm -hmm. They are so loud from here. 
Can you hear them? I'm sure you can hear them. How can you not? <laughs> Get a room. <laughs> I love them. I'm all changed. I'm ready for tonight's dinner. I cannot wait to see what Maria's cooking tonight. I'm never allowed to know in advance, so it's always a surprise, but I have heard a rumor of duck this time. It is lovely and snug in here tonight. Amory lights a fire before each of the guest breakfasts and guest dinners. And I can see that Philip's table is nearly done, just missing the napkins and the candles on. He's used the Tiffany Eau du Bon plates. These are made in Royal Limoges, but they're made for Tiffany. And Tiffany were inspired by Eau du Bon's beautiful watercolours of birds to make this design. They actually have a solid silver cutlery service as well in it, with all of the birds moulded into the handles. It is spectacular, with a price tag to match. Luckily, the plates we can get at the factory shop here in Limoges. Pavlina's has made lovely flowers. And next to his Wedgwood, Philip's chosen gorgeous pink depression era glass that was sent as a gift to us. I love the sound of the birds as the sun is setting here. It's not quite the spectacular sunsets that we get in summer yet, but starting to get there. And now Philip's put all the finishing touches on the table. We have little lovebirds as salt and pepper. The carafes of wine have arrived. We have the napkins. Everything is in place. We're ready for the guests to come through. Oh my goodness, I just saw the rainbow. I saw the beautiful light out of the window, but I didn't realise there was a rainbow there as well. What an evening. Maria, it is gorgeous as always. It smells wonderful. wonderful. And I'm happy to see this one again. Oh yeah. One of my favourites from last year, definitely. Yeah. Blue cheese, pear and walnut. Absolutely, yeah. And we have a duck breast with a blackberry and fig uh, sauce, mm. uh, carrots roasted in their own uh, bouillon, and uh, roasted on leaves. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, is that one of the marigold leaves? It looks like it. It does, doesn't it? It does. We've got potatoes from the garden. What? Potager to table. Yeah. Is that a spade? Of course it is, yeah, because uh, Pavlina harvested them specially for you. <laughs> Typical Maria. <laughs> the sprouting yeah. potato. Oh, no, you're eyes. right, the eyes. They are sprouting, just like some of the ones I found in the pantry. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd give everyone the same experience. Yeah. <laughs> and also, everyone's been uh, planting potatoes like crazy, including Amory and his family who came here as guests. Uh, so I thought we need to put stop on this because we're going to have way too many potatoes. And, uh, You're just going to start serving them for dessert? Yeah. That solves the problem. Uh, just, just take them out of the ground, freshly planted, take them out of the ground, serve them to you guys, and then we can do one Excellent. up on them. Perfect, love it. <laughs> Ever the problem solver. Yep. I'm going to dig into my potato. I think mine's my mine's overused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, what's <laughs> happening? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I made it in. You think it's marzipan? Mm hmm. Marzipan. Mm. It's really good. It turns out that the Lalan potatoes grow with little apricots inside them, which is really clever of them, actually. You are a genius. That was so good. That was, so that was good. Yeah. really lovely. Yeah. But I've also forgot to say that it actually is a very famous, I thought it was a Soviet dessert, mm. which is called potato. Um, oh, I, did, I thought you'd invented it. I didn't it, know it was a it, thing. It's a real thing, yeah. But then apparently I read up on it and it might be a Finnish invention oh, from like oh. the late 19th century. Well, well done, the Finns. Every day is a school one. <laughs> <laughs> then is it marzipan inside? No, no. So I added a little bit of almond, but mm. uh, I did a white chocolate cream this time. That's so good. Yes. Yes. We had the loveliest time with our guests. We could not have hoped for a nicer group of people for our first weekend of the season. But they've all gone home now. The chateau is weirdly quiet. And now we have to leap into action to get things ready for next weekend. And I have changed into my wallpapering outfit. This used to be one of my favorite dresses and I've worn it to death. So I was thinking of just getting rid of it. And then I thought, well, no, that's ridiculous. So I keep it for doing the wallpapering and the wallpaper has arrived and the guests are coming tomorrow, but I think we can wallpaper this in a day. So at least the wallpaper will be up, even though the painting below it won't be done yet. But as soon as it arrived, I realized it was meant to be because look, it's got peacock feathers all over the box. This is Thor approval. It's like the mark. It's of made Thor for the land. Peacock feathers and bluebells, right? And bluebells on the wallpaper. Look. Like, look at it. Oh. I do love pink and green together. What about you? Yeah. So 18th century. Mm. Oh, look, there's a little bird. Look at the butterfly. And a blue 
bluebell. There we go. There are the bluebells. I just, I love the quality. I saw this one in, in person in, in London and yeah. I just love the quality. It's, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to lie this down and cut it. Each roll is split into three panels, A, B and C, which go in that order. But we've decided to start with C. Because our first panel is going right into this corner next to the shower, and panel C is the only one that doesn't have, say, half a bird or half something very obvious along the left-hand edge. I think seeing half a bird would really draw the eye to the corner, whereas I think starting with leaves or sky, I mean pink sky, but I think all skies should probably be pink, then it will be much less noticeable. Amory's very precious laser level that we have to look after. It's basically like a child to him. This is the most precious possession for a man who likes everything level. And we're going to be following the line of this little shelfy bit and taking it all the way around the bathroom and that will be the bottom line of our paper. And for the top we'll do exactly the same thing with that box and just run it around at that level. I am using the world's smallest ruler because in the entire chateau that is the biggest ruler that I was able to find. It was in my desk. You know that Amory has big rulers, right? I but I didn't want to bother him and I thought I could be really independent. It might take a tiny bit longer though. You anyway, know, I'm just following this line around so that we have it marked. And then afterwards, once we've got the wallpaper on, but this won't be till next week because he's so busy in the tack room today, Amory will come along and put wooden mouldings over all this so it won't be seen at all. Hmm. No, not one word. Not mm. one word, Philip. Not Thanks. one word. We're very lucky that we're going to put the wooden walls on. <laughs> Whilst I work with the world's tiniest ruler, Philip is removing the wall lights. Much hated by Philip, much loved by me. <laughs> you decide. Well, look, I know they're 80s, oh, there we go. but they were in my parents' house and I find them super fun. Admittedly, I'm not convinced they're going to go with this wallpaper, mm. so you might get your wicked way in the end. Mm. Don't, look, I like those 80s Italian light fittings. You know, they would actually go in your mother's apartment because they go with the table and the, the chairs no, and stuff. They would look great in there, but we've got those two massive know, chandeliers in there, so. These are... Look, one more word. My mother is watching this. Isabel, really? <laughs> I'm all set up with my ladder, my pasting brush, and my paste. So let's get this wall pasted. I can't wait to see the first piece up. I love wallpapering because you get around the room in these really satisfying chunks, and each one makes a big difference. The moment we've been waiting for. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Our first piece is 100% finished. And level. Just the rest of the room to go, but I'm going to be so happy not to see plain white walls anymore. And don't get me wrong, I really like plain white walls in a lovely contemporary environment, but in a chateau, it just feels weird and wrong. Also, I think the fact that this wallpaper is from the National Trust collection, from Little Green. Yeah. I mean, it seems fitting for... I mean, exactly. English household, French chateau. We're in a good tradition. At some point, they were ruled by the same king, so I feel like we're okay. <laughs> Have you seen the way that it's reflecting the leaves in the surround of the shower? Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, that's sweet. up a little lunch table in here because we haven't really got time to go downstairs because I think Philip and I are doing a great job but we're doing it very very slowly but I wanted to show you all this because for the first time we can see how it looks with the view of the room beyond and I love it I love it more than I thought I was going to I've made a little pork and mustard sandwich with the pork you brought me at the market thank you you're welcome wouldn't it be I was just walking around to see Nick and Cameron and I see this. 
Yeah. How pretty. So you're going through the old bouquets and saving all the flowers that are still alive? It's last week's guest's flowers, so uh, a bunch of them still look really nice. I think they'll hold up for a few more days. So. I mean, these look perfect. They're going... Very surprised. There's a few in the kitchen already, and then... This is going to be the rest of it. It looks so idyllic seeing you out here like this. Yeah, it's wonderful weather again today. Yeah. And the frogs. No. I love hearing the frogs. Yeah, it's, it's definitely quite the choir. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How is it going? Um, a bit clearer. Yeah, it is actually. It's really feeling much clearer. What, look what we've uncovered. Wow. This was the first one that snapped off. This ah, was the big limb that came that out. Was it. That that's started the first off. reason that you had to take it down. Yeah. Because that's what made us realise it was rotten at its core. At the moment, the piece is about 11 and a half metres. Yeah. So I'm going to take this first two and a half metre section out, right. see what the timber's like, and then yeah. knock it into three three metre sections mm -hmm. to see what we can get on the mill. Okay. For Anne Marie to make some oh my goodness. Are you excited about the redwood? Oh, hell yeah. That's yeah. some pretty nice wood coming your way. It's going to be epic. We've got some. It's nearly had a year now air drying, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's good, yeah. Yeah. It's had a year. It's, had some good it's drying out. It's drying Have you got out, any actually. projects for it? Well, I was thinking actually one of them, well, there's yeah, one big one for there, but some of it could be used for the um, the gates for the walled garden. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's garden. good outside, isn't it, Redwood? Yeah. Great outside. Yeah, fabulous. It was, what, 20 metres away? Felt well. How far this is from there. Yeah. Not very, yeah. Epic. We'll get it caught and we'll get it round there, ready yeah. and everything. Yeah. But there's a few other bits that are developing in the forest as well now. Oh, let's have a look. Good to see you too, Cameron. Oh, you good? Yeah, it's good to be back. I took myself around on a walk in the beginning of the uh, the week. That's Went right to the end of the forest. Yeah. The further you get back, the more open it gets and the more, um, the more healthier it looks. All... Wow. You can just see the tops of them here, especially over those ten ones, the uh, resinous species. It's like a crane sanctuary over there, heron sanctuary. Heron, it used to be the herons, yeah, yes. Well, when I was over there on Monday, Monday morning, just literally within the space of about ten minutes walking, I had four or five. Oh, someone must have given them the memo that the lake's going to come back. Yeah, <laughs> they must somebody, be moving back they're in. They're all like, let's take the holiday home, yeah, <laughs> turn the electricity back on, but yeah, there's... There's a lot of them in there. I was surprised to see that many and that low as well. Ah, that's it's, exciting. It looks really, really nice over there. Yeah, that's how I'd like all of it to look eventually mm. one day. Well, the thing, the, the, the thing that's um, given me a bit of a boost of confidence is if it looks like that over there by itself, mm. it means that over here, it'll have the same sort of contact situation to yeah. be able to grow like that once it's been cleaned up and so yeah. on. Once Nip we down. give it a helping hand. Yeah. Now we're getting light through the canopy. You'll mm. see all the young trees that are coming up. There's I a lot of young maples. Oh, lovely. So you can choose the ones that yeah. you think have the best chance. Yeah, we're just going to keep, keep it, leave it for a bit. But, I mean, you've only got to look at this corner. It just explodes. And what are these? These are the maples that are coming through. So they're pretty, aren't they? Look at that gorgeous leaf. Yeah. Pity not, it's not the maple syrup type of maple. That, yeah. That's a shame. That looks like a young ash tree that's coming up. All the dead pines that was on this corner are yeah. now gone. Fantastic. But it's a bit safer. Oh, it is much clearer. Yeah. It looks completely different. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's so much better. We're on the limits of getting the machinery through here as well. Whip wide. <laughs> yeah, I can see. I, mean, I thought the path was a bit wider than the last time I came down here. No, it's just clearer. Is this because of the new hedge as well? You're now coming around this way. Yeah, I can't get in that way. Yeah. So the other good thing we're doing the work around the redwood is we're actually opening it up so if we need to get plant through, we can actually go yeah, down the bottom of the garden glaze. Very good. She you to come in. Yes. This is all the ones that Pavlina and Kirsty planted last yeah. year. That's one green for them. We've actually got some flowers up this end. And have you been over to the Bluebell Wood? Not yet. And Marie was telling me about you it. You have to go. It's breathtaking. I mean, we've got some here, but this this is a joke compared to the actual Bluebell Wood. Oh, oh there are some nearly out. Oh, Nick, thanks for bringing me. Aren't they gorgeous? And I think that's the wild variety that should naturalise. Yes, that's the idea. Oh, and look at it amidst the bluebells. So they're going to start coming yeah. through. Isn't this pretty around here? Look at all of that with the white and the yellow so at the lovely. back and the bluebells.
If you like that, definitely go and see the Bluebell Wood. I mean, when I was walking across on Monday, I took myself a bit through everywhere yeah. in between the paths stretch mm. along the field so i went right to the back to see where the um, boundary was yeah and all of the cows are all lined up <laughs> in a line just looking at them like i want you because <laughs> there it looks just like a purple carpet there are that <laughs> many of them i don't know which of you has the more magnificent beard i mean it's pretty hard it's hard to tell they're both mine grows properly his grows yeah. properly mine grows he, yours goes in a in a single straight point and you have yeah, i have my ancestral forks that's no that is honestly the joke is my ancestor is eric the red on my dad's side and so the the joke is eric fork beard the red the red fork oh, I didn't beard know about that. well apparently so and so that's my that's the family joke is it's my it? It, it's my proof it's my proof of pedigree it is hilarious to me that you've got the real bluebells out here whilst I'm stuck wallpapering yes. the bluebells in there. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for showing okay. me. And those tulips. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, see you soon. Right, back to that wallpapering. How's it going? Oh, Philip only popped out for a second. You've got another piece up. What I'm trying. <laughs> with a butterfly, which I think we're about to hide with a mirror. Yeah, correct. It's such a pretty paper. I just went out to see Nick and Cameron mm -hmm. and they took me to see a whole new area of bluebells that have sprung up on this side. That's so cool. And I was telling them, that's amazing, we're actually wallpapering bluebells at the moment yeah. because they remind us so much of La Lande. And yes. now we've got them on this forest. There's light, it's for living, let's see where the sun might lead. As you saw, we managed to get just round the corner and now we've been called for dinner. Everyone is so busy in every part of the house getting ready for the next guest weekend. So no one had the time to cook tonight. It is pizza night. Except I didn't order pizza from the pizzeria. Carpaccio salad and chips. And that's what I needed for wallpapering. How's everyone's day gone? Yeah, good. Yeah, nice and calm and peaceful in the yes. other rooms because I can assure you it's not calm or peaceful in Bon Maman's bathroom right now. It looks, it's looking very good. It looks yeah. very peaceful from the courtyard. Oh, yes. I want to look at it from the courtyard. It's pretty, yeah. Magdalena said it looks so pretty from the courtyard when it's lit up in yeah. there. Because you see, like, there's one lit up window and you can see the wallpaper on the wall and mm -hmm. it looks really cozy and really inviting. Does it look finished? Well, the little corner that I could see through the window looks very... Yes, um, that's the only wall we've done, the one opposite the window. <laughs> we'll tell the guests to just look at it well, from there. It's not really coming out on film, but Magdalena was right. You can see the wallpaper. It's so lovely seeing it from the courtyard. Waking up to a brand new day In between your sheets Breaking out in the best of ways And I'm back again on the street everyone it is now 10 to 7 in the morning and we have been wallpapering all night wow it's actually incredibly beautiful out here philip whoa 
That is not a sight I get to see very often. <laughs> well done. You just stuck at it. I can't believe we did it. Not finished. Oh, you've got a tiny bit to do over there. A little bit of pink there, that's fine. The wallpaper is absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to see how it looks, oh gosh, later today, when we put the whole room back together again. We think the curtains are a bit of a clash now, so we might see what we have upstairs if we have another pair that would look better. All the furniture needs moving back in. I need food and sleep. I would chat to you more about the whole wallpapering experience, only I can't really formulate words anymore, so I'm just going to go to sleep now. I still can't believe we got it wallpapered, even though it took us all night. And in Sunday's video, I will reveal the bathroom to you all. Thank you all for joining us for another day at the Chateau de Lalande. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons, but especially Ashley Wolf, Beverly Veras Yusufian, and Ludovico Zordanazzo. Thank you so much for supporting us here at Lalande. Lots of love to all of you, and I can't wait to see you in Sunday's video.